Oh, okay. Yeah, let's try these. These are from the DLC. I forgot about these, honestly. <laughs> I literally fought him. That was crazy. Oh my god. This might be it, dude. If I can give him Scarlet Rot and do this. I think we got it, man. I literally think we got it. Uh, Let's see, man. So this... Okay, I do need... I want that for sure. Can I take this off and be fine? Yes. Okay, so we're going to find something that gives us holy damage. And that is... Wait, which one was that? I need something for Arcane. So let's take this off and look for something for Arcane. Do we have anything for Arcane, though? That's only magic, though. It's not magic. I, I need something for holy. Oh, there we go. 71. Okay. And this is base? No, we, we need more. We need more of this. So we got this. We need it right now. We definitely need it. Uh, and then another thing. Uh, uh, can I put grease on these weapons? Oh, I can't. So it doesn't go on these weapons. So we can't put that on there. All right. Hey, wait, wait, what? What's going on here, man? Greatly boost attack power of skills. Oh. That that might be good for my skill. That might be good for my skill. So this, the skill, because I, I will be using it. Uh, boost maximum HP. I mean, we could take that off. If we don't get hit. Vastly boost. Hold, yeah, we need the holy damage negation. We need the damage negation as well. Uh, the, 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 the skill on this is really good. So we want that. Uh, what we could do. Maybe later is take this off, but it will take my health down to 19. <gasps> I forgot. No, I didn't forget. I didn't forget. So I could take this off, right? And we could put another one on. So I think I'm going to put another one on because we can get more health anyway. I'll show you right now how. Uh, enhances charge spells and skills. Enhances charge... A legendary talisman depicting the island of Godfrey rages charge attack power for sorceries, incantations, and skills. So if I have this on, is it going to make my uh, my skill more powerful? Because I already have this one on. Is it going to... I wonder if it's going to stack. Alright, let's, let's try putting this on. To see if, it, if these two go hand in hand. And we got the holy damage negation and the damage negation. I think we are good. All right, I think we're good. We got the rots. So let's try to throw as many of these rots at them as we can while doing damage. It's going to be kind of tough, but we can do it. I'm pretty sure we can do it. I literally just stood there. I couldn't move. Everything happened. Yeah, yeah I agree. Oh, I agree. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, fine, man. Okay. We hit each other. Wow, that was cool. Did you see that? Run! I'm holding the run button. If I die here, I swear to do. Oh my god. Too early. Damn it. Damn, dude. He whooped me right there. Ah! 
Let's go, baby! Fuck you! I did it! Let's go! Oh, man. I made that look easy, dude. I made that look easy. Let's fucking go, dude. Too fucking good at this shit, dude. Oh, my God. I'm fucking unstoppable, dude. <laughs> Yo, I knew that was the run. I felt it. I felt it. Holy. Whew, we did it, chat. We freaking did it. I told you we're going to beat this tonight, dude. I told you. And I didn't use any summons whatsoever. Holy, dude. I played, okay, I played Bloodborne for one hour. I didn't know I had to use runes to level up. So I was fighting everything at level one. <laughs> that was going to be an ass kick, dude. <laughs> uh, I don't think I counted like two of those deaths. So I'll just add two more. Welcome to the part of the video where I tell you tips and tricks. All right, so here we go. Let's get into the first one. So when I walk into this door, I'm all buffed up. The very first move he will 95% of the time do is this move right here. And all you gotta do is be patient, wait for him to get to you. When he jumps towards you, don't jump, don't dodge, don't do anything. Wait for him to stay, wait, wait for him to kind of just stay like that and then dodge. And then you could start to punish right here because it takes, it takes a little bit for him to get up so you can punish him with whatever move you have. That move, you kind of just get away from him. Okay. On this move right here, a lot of people dodge. I don't dodge because a lot of the times I died because of dodging. What you have to do is run to the side and jump at the very last second. And this one just dodge at the very last second. Easy. You can punish him right here. Sometimes he will do this twice in a row. So be careful with this. That's why I'm not hitting him now. Because I'm seeing if he does it twice. He doesn't do it twice. I missed my chance to punish. Dodge again. Punish. Dodge. 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 All these moves. Don't dodge away from him. Always dodge towards him or to the left. Because if you dodge away from him. Your iframes will run out and you'll basically just take a hit. All right, on this move, just run away. Don't do not do anything. Just, just run away. Run away. Run away. Get as far away as you can. When you get out of the blast radius, you will not take a hit. It's possible to dodge it. After that, stay away from the explosions, from the holy damage. And then from here, you can drink your potions, get ready, do your buffs, whatever. So here I'm just kind of waiting for him to see what he does. He's doing this move. He's just dodging all the way at the last second. Right here. He's basically going to do his rock thing. Don't do what I do. I'm going in for a hit. And I take a hit. Okay, so on this one right here. Don't dodge away from him. Don't dodge to the left. Dodge towards him. Always dodge towards him when he does that move. It makes it harder for him to hit you for whatever reason. Always dodge towards him. Always dodge towards him. Do not dodge away from him. His reach is too far. He will hit you. He'll punish you for dodging away from him. Dodge towards him always. If you, if you dodge away from him, he will hit you, like I said. But when he hits the ground and he does that holy damage explosion, you could dodge again repeatedly, just spam it, and then you, you will not get hit. So on this, wherever he jumps from, you get away from that. So that middle part right there where I'm standing, get away from it. Run away as far as you can as soon as he jumps away from it because he will land in the same exact spot. Dodge, 
at the very last second on that one. And there we go. He's dead. Uh, there's a couple of moves that he didn't do in this run. So I'm going to go back and show you what uh, those moves were and when to dodge. Okay, so right here, just throw two rot pots at him. And it'll begin to start to take away at his life. And you can, uh, you can kind of kill him just by doing this. See, as you can see, it's just go it's pretty much going down and I'm not doing anything. Look how fast it's going down. So if you do that and then you start hitting them, then you'll be fine. Again, just run and jump on these ones. Do not dodge because that'll happen. If you use summons, it will increase Radon's difficulty. And this goes with every boss that you put a summon in. It will increase the difficulty and increase the health. Also, New Game Plus, it will raise Radon's health. It will raise all bosses' health. So the more times you beat it, the more health they get. On this move, you can start dodging away when you see this. If he pulls you towards him, just run and jump at the last second and you'll be fine. Easy. Just stay away from the whole thing. And here you can just kind of like just dodge and dodge. If he grabs you right there twice in a row, you're dead. Nothing you can do. Just dodge at the last second. Easy. There is that double thing I was talking about earlier. Sometimes he does it twice. Here, just keep dodging towards him or to the left or right and you'll be fine. Do not dodge away. Please don't dodge away. Like that. You will get hit. He'll punish you for it. Alright, on this move, basically, when he does that, he shoots a light at you. Dodge at the very last second and you will be fine. Just time it perfectly and you'll be okay. Always dodge towards him. Or to the left. Better to the right, actually. Because sometimes your iframes runs out and you will get hit if you dodge to the left. So I would just dodge to the right. Dodge to the right. If this video has helped you, then like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what I missed down in the comments below. Let me know if dying 115 times in a DLC for the first time playing is really good or not. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Laters.